I recently did a video of whether or not you could put a cup of soup in a microwave and we did a plastic cup and a styrofoam cup. But can you just put a styrofoam cup in a microwave by itself? And how does it also compare to a glass cup filled with water? So I have seen a video where someone just puts in an empty styrofoam cup with nothing in it and it causes sparks in the microwave. So we're going to get to that. But first I just wanna see it filled up with water and how it goes. We have this cup filled up to the line. Let's go ahead and pour that in and then we'll fill up this cup again. So these cups both have the same amount of water in them directly from the tap around 17 degrees or 63 degrees Fahrenheit. If you look at that, they're basically the same, pretty close. Let's go ahead and put the styrofoam cup in for one minute and see what happens to the temperature. Okay, so it's been one minute. Let's go ahead, get this out, give it a little stir with our finger. It's definitely warmer. How warm is it? It's not boiling or anything. About 46 degrees Celsius or 115 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's go ahead and put the glass in and see if there's any difference in how much it actually warms up compared to the styrofoam or do they perform exactly the same? Okay, it's been a minute with the water now. Let's go ahead, open this up. Give that a little stir as well and check the temperature on this one. 119 degrees Fahrenheit or 48, 49 degrees Celsius. So they work very similar. Let's go ahead and tip out this water now and we'll actually test what happens when you put a styrofoam cup in the microwave just by itself. Shake that water out, there's nothing in there. In a previous video I've seen it actually causes sparks. Let's put it towards the end so it's gonna go around the outside. Put it on for a minute and see what happens. Hopefully no explosions, not gonna lie, I'm a little bit nervous here. Okay, so it's been a full minute, no sparks or anything. It was quite underwhelming, actually. Uh, if we feel that, it's a little bit hot, like it's a little bit warm, but not a lot. And it's basically in exactly the same condition. Let's go ahead and give it another try. We'll give it another, you know, three, let's give it three minutes and see what happens with it. Okay, so it's been three minutes, again, extremely uneventful. Doesn't smell bad in here. The cup is not really hot. As you can see, I can touch it quite easily. It hasn't changed shape or anything or melted or anything like that. So it seems fine. So what happens when you put polystyrene in the microwave? It's actually extremely uneventful. I guess the thing that you do need to be cautious of is apparently polystyrene contains styrene, which is now labeled as a probable carcinogenic. So it probably causes cancer. So if you're having cup of noodles like this in polystyrene, then that might not be good for you. So be careful with that, but is it going to explode or cause sparks when you put it in the microwave? No, probably not. It's just nothing really seemed to happen. Heated up water, just like a glass did, but yeah. That's what happens when you put polystyrene in the microwave. Go ahead and check out my video on whether or not you can put noodle cups in the microwave. As you can see, we've got a bit of sparks happening there. And as well, check out my video on what happens when you put a Ziploc bag in the microwave. It did not work out too well for this Ziploc bag. So check out one of those videos. And until next time, stay cool.